Let's play some Starfield. Audio check. Oh, there I am. Live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash jewelsmith or if you're on Twitch you can find me at youtube.com slash jewelsmith to watch previous live streams. Alright, so yesterday I was following up on a bunch of quests and little bits and pieces of things that were sort of left over because I had just finished the Vanguard. I went and got my penthouse. I talked to Commander Tuwala. I got a bunch of money from him for being a first class citizen of the UC. <laughs> I don't really care that much about the UC. Um, but anyway, uh, what else was I doing? I don't know. I was running around doing a bunch of things. And one of the things that I had not done in this game was go out to Schrodinger. That's where we are right now. We're in the Schrodinger system. It's level 65, it says. And it, we're here at Schrodinger 3. And there's this ship here called the Colander. And I went into the ship. I docked with the ship. Here's where Schrodinger is. It's actually... I guess it's not far from Crix. Okay. All right. Uh, but I was traveling from way over here, so it was quite the trip. Can you get there from... Yeah, it's not far from Freestar Collective either. Okay. So here's where Schrodinger is. And I boarded the ship, and I had Zeke as a follower, but he would not go with me onto the ship. And I thought maybe he was glitched... But no, I looked online and apparently everyone who tries to go on this ship with a follower, the follower won't go with them. It's something to do with, they want you to have a creepy, scary, spooky experience. Um, so let's go ahead and dock again. I had gone in and I had looked around and I had read some terminals and searched some things and this, that, and the other. And I found a lab that was closed up. And I found a bunch of dead people laying around the ship. <coughs> Excuse me. Apparently some alien had gotten on board. And killed everyone on the ship. And it's still on the ship. Now I saw one spider closed up inside the lab. I think it was in the lab. Anyway, it was in this enclosed space, and I saw one spider, and I thought, oh, damn. Where there's one, there's usually a million more. And so I thought if I explored further and opened the doors of the ship, that I would be overrun with spiders, and I'm all alone because Zeke won't go in there with me. And then I was like, you know what? Fuck that. I'll just go out into space, and I'll just blow it up, right? But no. I shot and shot and shot and shot at the ship. And it wouldn't blow up. And I tried targeting various systems. I could not for the life of me get the ship to blow up. Whereas any other ship I've tried to shoot at. It just takes a few shots and then kaboom it blows up. So I think that they're... <sighs> the developers are trying to be cute. Right? And be like oh you can't just blow it up from space. And oh you can't take your follower with you. You've got to go in there and actually deal with it by yourself. And blah blah blah. Ooh. This is very advanced. How does it compare to what I'm wearing? Huh. It's got a lot higher physical energy and EM resistance than what I'm wearing. But I've also got anti-ballistic and lead-lined with radiation resistance. So, I don't know. Is it worth switching over to the new space helmet? Maybe? Alright, well, I'll just store that one. 
I looted a bunch of stuff from the ship. We got a whole bunch of food. We got some milk from Donna. That was weird. We met this janitor lady in New Atlantis and she wanted some coffee. So I got her some and she was like, thanks, here, you can have this. I found it. I find a lot of things laying around when I'm cleaning up and she just gave me some <laughs> random milk. I think I'm carrying a lot of grenades and things. Yeah, I am. Oh, we also found some contraband. That's the other thing. I think I've got under miscellaneous. Yes, we found three sets of harvested organs. We found some kind of robotics part. And we found some Varun, seven Varun heretic writings. We're going to have to go to the den after this. Oh, I'll take those credits and that digi pick. And I've got an alien egg, which I think is pretty dangerous to be carrying around in the cargo hold. That's how you end up with aliens on your ship killing your crew. So i got to figure out where I can take this alien egg. Let's see if I can find it. find people talking about it. I'm looking. I don't see any information about it. Alright, well if anyone knows what to do with an alien egg, let me know. It does look a lot like the eggs from the movie Alien. Alright. Oh, yeah, I found this. Oh, that's pretty nice. Wow. That's a nice eon. I like the Razorbacks, but they don't have very large magazines, so... Ooh, refined regulator. Okay. Alright, so we can't blow up the ship from space. I 
I can't take my follower with me. I am just going to go in there. And anyway, I was saying I thought maybe there would be a whole bunch of these spider things. And I was killed by a herd of space spiders on a frosty cold planet at one point. So I didn't want to tussle with those spiders. However, my husband tells me there is actually only one spider on this ship. So if there's only one spider, I think I can handle it. Let's go in here and get the spider. <laughs> I'll get a rolled up magazine. See, there's a dead person here. And she had a recording or a little slate thing talking about, I'll try to lure the creature out here and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. There in there is a big, uh, Contraband. That's where I found the harvested organs and Varun writings and stuff. There's a bunch of stuff in there. I found another way in. And I've looked all around. See all the lockers are open. I already did all this last time I was here. Yeah. And I read that. Blah, blah. Alright. We had gone as far as we could go without actually confronting the critter. And we found some, let's see, some hatches and things. Toilet paper rolls and a cred stick. I don't think we can go through that door. No, we cannot. Oh. I missed that chunks of potato and I missed that stale sandwich there. Okay, we looted all of this. Yes. Alright, and then we couldn't get through there. It's a workshop. We've been in here. One of these terminals had information about opening some kind of door or something. They just keep telling us the ship is on lockdown, but we found a terminal where we could open a door. this stuff. Alright, I think I've got to go 
back through here. No. Here. Yeah, this is where I gotta go. If you listen, you can hear a a nasty noise in there. Oh, maybe this is the terminal to open the door. Nope. This is the one telling me that the, all the crew members are dead. Okay. Yeah, I feel a lot braver now knowing that there's not going to be a herd of spiders. Just the one. Of course, my husband could be fucking with me. Maybe there is a herd of spiders. <laughs> nah, he wouldn't do that. He's not as cruel as I am. I think this is how we got to the contraband. Yeah, all right, that, that doesn't lead anywhere though, I don't think. Yeah, see here's the contraband. We already looted it. Now, I've seen people online talking about this ship. And some of them assumed it was a nod to the game Among Us. But if you know anything about the movie Alien, it seems much more likely that this is a nod to that. Which, to be honest, Among Us is kind of based on movies like Alien and The Thing. But yeah, the idea that there's an alien on board the ship and it's killing off all the crew. And at one point I found a message that seemed to indicate that somebody somewhere knew that they had this alien or wanted somebody to work on the alien DNA or something, which is a plot point in the movie Alien about, um, you know, they encounter this uh, xenomorph alien creature and this corporation that they work for wants a sample of it brought in because they want to use it to study it or whatever. So, I mean, yeah, th th that's definitely a nod to the movie Alien. All right, remote security door control. Now, I didn't do this last time I was in here because I didn't want to be overrun with a herd of spiders, but let's go ahead and do it. Now this opens the door out to here. Which I've actually been here already as well, because there's another way to get in here from over there. Yeah. This is where the alien is in the laboratory. Behind a master locked door. See, there it is. As I said before, a whole lot of beds on this ship. <gasps> oh, here's another slate. Alex. It was all so sudden. I don't know what happened. It breached containment and pounced on Alex. There was nothing we could do. It was tearing them to shreds, eating them. 
Amos and I ran from the lab while it was busy, or we would have been next. God help us. Yeah. This is like, what if Ripley hadn't made it off of the ship? <laughs> Okay, so this is where that other door was that we couldn't get through before. And now we're back in the galley. So we've got a faster shot back to our ship from here. Okay. Alright, well I guess the only thing we have left to do is to go in and shoot the alien Alright, I guess we gotta do a master unlock here. Because I haven't found a key anywhere. There was a major update today, too. Oh, I guess I screwed this up. Yeah, there had been an update that came out on PC for Starfield. But it just went live today for Xbox. Because I played this yesterday and there was no update. But then today when I logged in to play, it said the game was updating. That's another reason I'm a little bit late getting started. There's a whole lot of fixes, it says. But I don't know if any of those fixes affect me at this point. Oh shit, I'm dying. What am I- why am I stuck in scanner mode? scanner mode when I was trying to do my power. Oh jeez. Alright, well it put me right here. 
Well, that thing was tougher than I thought it was going to be. All right. Well, I guess I could lower it out here and then jump up on top of there. Yeah, okay. I was trying to use my grav gravity anti gravity field on it. Maybe we'll try this. I'll right, we'll come through there. Just don't blow yourself up, Red Six is saying. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I know, that's what I'm afraid of. First time chat. Welcome, welcome. Spidey, Spidey. Did it not come out?
Oh, it learns. That got it. All right. Where'd he go, Revnet? That is a very ugly critter right there. Oh, <laughs> Red Six is asking, what level are you? Level 40. <laughs> How's the field of stars treating me today? Uh, well, I've died once now, <laughs> so not so good. Um, I'm going to assume since you're a first time chatter that maybe you haven't watched my streams before, but I am just about wrapping this game up for, for me. Uh, I've played through Sista versus Crimson Fleet. I've played through the. I just finished up the Vanguard. I've done the Ryujin quest line. I've done the Free Star Ranger quest line. I've done a bunch of side quests. Um, I'm basically just finding things to do that I haven't done before. I have not done the main quest line, and I have no intention of doing the main quest line. I think it's boring. It has no interest for me. But my husband said, "Hey, go check out Schrodinger Three. So <laughs> I found this ship. And I tried to go back and blow it up from space. Because I went, I looked through the window and I saw the alien in there. And I was like, oh, fuck that. I'm going to go blow up the ship. So I went and got in my ship. I undocked, you know, and I was shooting at this thing. But it's, they will not let you blow it up from space. I was targeting. It's, it's basically got nothing left on it. It's got like a little tiny bar of health on its, wasn't it its grab drive? I think it was its engine or something. And I tried targeting it. I tried shooting at it with everything I had. Mm, but you can't blow the ship up. So, unrealistic. <laughs> I mean, nuke it from orbit is the only way to be sure. That's what I wanted to do. But then my husband was like, oh, it's just one spider. You'll be fine. So, I thought it was going to be a whole herd of spiders. Because I got killed by a big old herd of frost spiders out on a planet one time a while back. So... I didn't want to deal with a whole herd of spiders, but let's see what the computer says. Oh, door control interface. Closed door. No, I don't want to close the door. I want to nuke it from orbit. Cause look at this. It's full of all these egg pods and things. It's gonna. There's gonna be more. More of um, at some point. Oh, look at that! I don't like that noise. That is a terrible, terrible noise. That sound of the uh, creepy, squirming. Egg sacks. I don't like it. Do I want to go down here? I don't. Ooh. 
Yeah, so they were trying to collect these things. And it broke out of containment. And killed everybody on the ship. Killed me too! <laughs> Normally I'd have Zeke with me. But they wouldn't allow a follower to come into the ship with you. He follows me everywhere, but he wouldn't follow me in here. I think they did that on purpose. Just to make it creepy and harder. But that ain't right. Normally Zeke would be right here with me. And he'd help me take that thing down. Oh, an alien sandwich. And a med pack. Alright, thanks. What's up here? Nope, I want the cred sticks. Can I have the cred sticks, please? Gosh. Wish they'd make the hitbox bigger on that. Alien bug paperweight. Well, an alien bug killed ya. Killed everybody in here. Sarah P. Computer. Let's see what this says. Planet with good potential. Captain, Planet XR 069 looks promising. Atmosphere's chemical composition leads us to think the kind of species we're looking for might be on it. Set the chorus to XR 069 and we will discuss further details later. Amos. Interloper. Captain, we captured the interloper. It's another species from Planet XL 069. It managed to sneak in the ship and hide in the vents. We locked it up in a spare cell in the lab. Vital parts of the ship have been damaged. We have to travel to the closest spaceport ASAP to fix it. Attention all crew, the ship is in lockdown. Yeah. So that didn't work out very well, did it? Ooh, what's this? Vanguard Space Tactics 03, ship particle weapons. Permanently deal 5% more damage. Okay, I'll take it. Oh, we can't get in there. Okay. Um. Can I see what book that is? It's just telling me I can sleep in the bed. Some people were saying online that it was possible to sleep in the beds and here and when you wake up your follower would be with you. But then other people were saying, yeah, no, that doesn't work anymore. So maybe it was a thing that you could do at one point, but then they changed it because they want to make it really, really hard. Oh, are we back in the galley? Oh, okay. Oh, right. This was the door we couldn't open before. All right. Get the heck out of here. Am I going to be able to blow it up now? <sighs> Pro. 
Probably not. get away from it. And then turn around and look at it. Um, where did it go? Oh, there it is. Yeah, see? You just can't blow it up. That's bullshit. <laughs> Alright. Let's see where we are and what we want to do next. I think... I think I need to scan a habitable planet. Now what constitutes a habitable planet? I was looking online and there are certain characteristics. It has to have an atmosphere with strong oxygen O2 levels. Uh, atmosphere says standard O2 on this one. It's got to be, it has to have moderate flora. Ooh, abundant flora. It has to have moderate fauna. Natural, safe, or biological water. And the magnetosphere has to be at least moderate. And it's got to have a temperate temperature. Well, this place seems like it could be worth scanning since we're here what have we got here oh that's the ocean okay sandy desert Hills, mountains, ooh, mountains. All right, well, let's land in the sandy desert and see what happens here. Is this a habitable planet? I wish it would say. Um... I think it doesn't say strong O2, it just says standard O2. And it's got abundant flora and fauna, so does that count as a habitable planet? Well, let's find out. I don't really like surveying planets, it's not something I enjoy. In general, like I wouldn't do it 50 times, but it's kind of fun once in a while. abundant wildlife, isn't it? No, 
I'm looking here at, if there's anywhere online that tells you exactly which planets are habitable. The easiest to tackle is Eridani 2. Also Arcturus 2 and Leviathan 4. Alright. Well, I think we're at Leviathan 4, aren't we? No, we're at Schrodinger 3. Okay. This place isn't so bad. Lots of space to think out here. Oh, now you're with me, huh? Oh, yeah, he doesn't have his suit on either, so... I guess it is a habitable planet. Life signs, interesting. Some of these are pretty high level. I don't know if I want to fuck around with that. This is a pretty high level world. Alright. Let me go back to my ship. <laughs> Let's find a little bit lower level world since I'm only level 40. Yes, I said yes. Let's go. Got to the star map. We're here in Schrodinger. I thought I was at Leviathan the other day. I think I had to go. Yeah, here we go. Let's go to Leviathan. Yeah, I was just here the other day. There's Leviathan 2, Leviathan 7, Leviathan 4. Alright, let's go check this out. Leviathan 4, is that where we are right now? Yes. Oh, this is level 55. Alright, well maybe we gotta go to the Eridani system. 
Hey, hi, Beyond Belief says hi for me to the fox bats. <laughs> There's fox bats? Yikes. Uh, where in the world was it? I wish all of the planets would have their names. I thought that the update was going to make it so that the names of all the planets showed up. I think we've been to all of these, right? If they have a hazy glow, it means we've been there before. Alright, well let's go to the wolf system and go to the den because I'm carrying a bunch of contraband. So let's unload that. We can at least do that. Hey, Beyond Belief, do you know what to do with alien eggs? Grav jump pending. Oh, dang it. There we go. I found an alien egg. Is there anyone we can give it to? Or anything we can do with it? I'm gonna go sell this contraband that I found on the colander. I tried to destroy the colander from space and I couldn't do it. So I had to go in and I shot up the spider that was in there. I whacked it with a big rolled up newspaper. Found a bunch of contraband on board. Oh, and Zeke's just heading on in. Was there something you need? Good to see you. You won't find a better offer on the station. See, I've got the alien egg right there. I probably shouldn't be carrying it around. If it hatches on my ship, that wouldn't be good. Oh, okay. Thank you. 
Well. Not much else we can do here. We got rid of our contraband, so I don't have hey, to worry about what can it. I do for you? Nothing today, my dude. see what missions we have. We have Apex Predator. We have to collect samples on Tirna 2. Optional approach targets to harvest non-lethally. I'm not doing that quest. I can't do that quest. Can't do that quest. Right, so surveying a habitable planet is about the only other thing I've got on my list here that I can do. That's glitched. Okay, we can also go to the ECS constant and see if they have anything to tell us. And I can visit my room in Paradiso. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out where Eridani was that the name of the planet? Eridani 2. Where is that? Oh, Altair. I don't think we've been to Altair. It's not glowing. Let's go there. Oh, jeez. Here we go. This is Research Outpost U309 to any and all Free Star Collective craft. We are under heavy fire. Hostile spacers are overrunning our position on Altair 2. I'm not sure how much longer our outpost can hold on. We don't have much time. Private Mahoney, out. Nice. All right. How do we get there? heard you're about to be overrun. Use one of your med packs. Help. Where'd they go?
this is pretty cool. Neon dancer headwear. <laughs> That's funny. Interesting weapon. I'll give him a heck of a target to aim for. Hey, I still, how you doing? Hey, kitty. My kitty is sniffing around my laptop. One of my kitties. Did we kill everybody outside? Let's do that before we go much further into this place. I think there were a couple more people outside. Zeke. That is Zeke. I, I saw the shadow of his hat. Well, it's a good thing you're wearing that hat. I'd have shot you. Anybody back here? Go in this back way, maybe? Herding sunflower filter. Oh, Looks like a pretty critter. Things are kind of a mess back here, aren't they? Oh, you gotta have a key to get in there? Alright, I guess we're going in this way then, like we were. 
as you were. Somehow Zeke came around the back, though. You got the key, Zeke? Is the key out here somewhere? I know all the researchers are inside getting massacred right now, and I'm out here looting. Priorities. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What is that thing? Hunting Bright Cage. Ooh, 1983. Oh shit. Oh, that's the first time I've ever had that happen. I didn't know that was a thing. All the time I've played this game, I've never had that happen. An E pipe, huh? Very cold, frosty milk. I didn't need those binoculars. Whoa! Somebody got shot here. What the heck kind of... Oh, I guess it's a research facility, so they're researching the bugs? There seems to be another one over there. Okay. think that power pack is worth much. Yeah, it's not. I'm going to drop it. All right, let's Let's head in, I guess. We were already inside. How's everybody doing? How are you doing today, I Stella? Beyond Belief? Red Six? Anyone else who's watching? Oh, the computer's busted. Okay. in here conference room oh yeah the scientists are all killed oh that sucks you guys didn't have security honestly you'd think with as many pirates and spacers and ecliptic and all of that that are running around in space that you would hire security If you're gonna be out here anywhere doing anything. Come on, there we go. There's a lot of blood. Oh, he has uranium. Uranium fever has gone and got me down. Oh wait, wrong game. 
Oh, maybe they did have security. Yeah, you see Marine. Okay. What is that? Oh, jeez. Okay. Unlock requires key. Only the security key card can unlock it. Well, we were just looking at a dead security guard. Somebody was trying to bust in here. Red 6 is good. Just got home from work. Fired up Starfield. Nice. Are you playing while I'm playing? That's always fun. What's your favorite part of Starfield? I think my favorite part is the ships. I really like the ship building and the space combat. I mean, I haven't done a lot of it. I know there's people who have done way more than me, but but I enjoy it. Oh, what have we here? All right, we came in here, we shot these fools. But then I decided to head on out. Oh, draft of reinforcement request. I do not believe you understand the tactical situation. We cannot wait one week. We cannot wait even one day. We need reinforcements now or it's... It's over. I'll eat the rest of that sandwich though. Come on. And I think as far as quest lines go, I enjoyed the Crimson Fleet versus Sistef quest line the most. Is there something I can help you with? Oh, you look so cute. Yeah, I'll take a few things. How you doing? Thanks for the chat. Oh, sorry. Okay, let's keep going. I visited this random planet and I got a distress call from this research station that's under attack by spacers. So I'm killing some of the spacers. Oh, right, we can go down that way. I looted all this stuff. There's a lot of doors we can't get into. I don't have keys for them. Can't lockpick them. Oh, here's a researcher. So that's one of the things I'm looking for is for, like, keys or terminals to open things.
All right, let's go down this way. <laughs> Running. Arr, hijack the stream with your channel points. That's a massive amount of channel points, my dude. Thank you. <laughs> You're doing good. Good. Red Six, not a big fan of the shipbuilding, but enjoy all the missions and exploring. Yeah, my husband's that way too. He, he was saying the same thing. He was like, eh, he didn't really like the ship building stuff. He didn't particularly like the, the space battle stuff either. That's the part I really like. I mean, some of the uh, exploring and stuff is fun too. Like, I like doing these kind of dungeon crawl sort of things that remind me of Fallout here. Chemical storage. Don't do it, it says. Oh, we should totally do it. I mean, it's kind of cool going to different planets and stuff, too. I mean, I'm not into, like, the planet scanning. Like, scanning every piece of flora and fauna or anything like that. But, uh... But I enjoy just being on planets and seeing the vistas and stuff. You know, suns and moons and whatever. Did they just say, yeah, it was nothing? Really? You hear a giant explosion and you just say, oh, it was nothing? Well, you guys are a special kind of stupid. But they are spacers, right? They're like the Starfield version of raiders. They're just dumb. Ugh. Thank oh, God. jeez. I figured if I talked myself hoarse on the comms, the cavalry would come. Oh, I was you're expecting a free star some ranger. Free star militia, but any port in a storm, I guess. I'm a free star ranger. Wrong, the Rangers have come through. Or I can say United Colonies Vanguard. Actually, you got the UC Vanguard. What are you doing in a closet? No, I'll, I'll go with my Free Star Ranger background. You are a sight for sore eyes. Before Me Spacers and broke into the outpost, I was relaying orders for Lieutenant Torres. Torres ain't bad as far as COs go, but we'd have been flat out murdered if it weren't for the, and I can't believe I'm saying this, the UC Marines. So, and this is important. You see a Marine, don't shoot. They're friendlies. Okay. Got it. Marines good, spacers bad. Roger. So first things first. The makeshift infirmary isn't going to hold. They set up on the ground floor in the security section. The whole place is on lockdown, so you'll have to find a way there. Talk to, okay. um, uh, Lazama. He's the only thing between them and, well, you get the picture. Okay. Sounds like I came in the nick of time. I'll make sure the infirmary stays safe. Can you give me the tactical breakdown? When Torres triggered the lockdown, I was with Lazama and the doctor in security. But the lockdown cut us off. Last I knew, Torres was fighting in the complex. Somewhere. The Marines okay. were guarding the back entrance. No idea what's up with them. But that intel's old. Sorry. That's all I got. All right. I'm just hoping it's not just me still standing. Be I'm safe. glad you're Be alive. Bold. A dead soldier ain't no help to no one. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I didn't expect to find somebody in here, especially a fellow Free Star Collective Ranger. Wow. Okay. I gave Zeke uh, my old Deputy Ranger the outfit. The infirmary. He doesn't always wear it, but he has it. Oh, shoot. Anybody hiding in here? Yikes. Uh. 
All right, here we go. Inferno mine. I don't want your inferno mine. Hey! Everyone, move up! You gonna try to shoot at us through the glass? It ain't gonna work. Oh, you got him before I could. Time to die. All right, well, come at me. Seek. Let's see what you've got. My dude. Well, you just do that. He loves to run in and shoot people in the face. You got a ranged weapon for a reason. You know, to be like far away. need to keep that first time chat hi Julia hi I really love this game but I got so many bugs that the experience was not that cool oh man yeah no I feel you I have a similar experience I have got so many bugged quests here um, like this one's bugged and this one's kind of bugged like I can't really finish it unless I agree to do some stupid thing he wants me to do and I don't want to do it I can't just tell him no this one's bugged uh, this one's bugged uh, yeah so I think some of these others but yeah it's, it's kind of a bummer there are a lot of bugs I mean, Bethesda's known for that anyway, but still, come on. You know, and it, when it, you know, you can't complete quests and it's basically, you know, breaking the game or whatever. Yeah, there's been a lot of issues in this game. I'm only level 40, but I've finished most of the major quests. I haven't done the main quest line and I'm probably not going to because I find it really boring and I don't like Constellation. But I've done a bunch of other stuff. I've done the Reugen quest line. I've done the Crimson Fleet stuff quest line. I've done the Vanguard quest line. Uh, I've done a lot of side quests. You know, tons of different locations. Stuff on Titan. You know, just the Crucible. Like a whole bunch of things. And there's a lot of fun stuff in here. I mean, some of the side quests are more fun, I think, than the main quests. Like, I really enjoyed this side quest. There was a bartender in Gagarin that sent me on a quest to go pick up some alcohol for her and the ship that I had to go and dock with and do that quest, that was a lot of fun for me. I enjoyed that. Um, the Crucible was kind of interesting. You know, this is neat. I like this, like, trying to rescue the research station thing. This is cool. Um, there was another quest that I did, and I can't remember where I did it, but I... I flew out and there was this farmer guy who was like, oh, spacers keep destroying our satellites so I can't communicate with the other farmers. And that was ended up being like kind of a little mini quest line where I had to do several different things and it was really fun. And it's just, you know, there there is some like really good content in this game, but unfortunately there's also a lot of like just not fun content and a lot of bugs and a lot of things. So yeah. I mean, I've been playing it now. This is my 74th day playing it. <laughs> but there were many times I wanted to quit. My husband's already played through the whole thing and gone to New Game Plus and all that. And so he's the one that keeps telling me like, oh, well, ignore this. Go do this. You know, don't give up. Go try this out. Go look here. Like earlier in this live stream, I went out to a place, uh, Schrodinger, the Schrodinger system. It's out kind of past Crix in that sort of area where Crix is, and there was a ship there called the Colander. That was pretty interesting. 
Yeah, Beyond Belief says 500 picks is out today with the patch. Yeah, I saw that when I started streaming. I couldn't stream right away. I had to wait for the game to finish uploading or, you know, updating or whatever. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking right now at an article. There's a massive update now live on Xbox. Fixes tons of art issues, tons of gameplay issues, tons of graphical issues. There's just a huge long list. But I don't know if the fixes stick for people who have already had the problem. Like, my Heart of Mars quest is glitched. And they did an update last month where they said, Oh, we fixed the Heart of Mars. And so I was like, yay! And I went out there and it's still bugged for me. So, you know, <laughs> I can't guarantee anything there. But, uh, yeah, hopefully it'll help other people. But unfortunately, it just, it feels like, oh, I can, I didn't realize this was a, oh, this is Ground Pounder. What the heck? This is a whole quest. This isn't just like a random, a random thing. Um, I thought it was just like a random encounter kind of thing, but no, it's a whole quest. It has a name and everything. Anyway, yeah, I, I feel like a lot of people have moved on from Starfield and moved on to other things, which is unfortunate. I hope more people circle back around, maybe. But, um, you know, some friends of mine were pointing out the other day that if you go to Twitch and you look at how many people are watching different streams and video games and stuff, there's actually a way to, you can, you can look at the stats on Twitch and see that like, oh, 2,000 people are watching people play Fallout 4 or, or you know, 10,000 people are watching people play whatever, you know, Apex Legends or whatever it is. Um, and Starfield only has, usually when we check, about 100 viewers. And I said, well, heck, half of those viewers are watching me because usually when I stream, I'll get about 40, 50 people at times, you know, that'll come through and watch. And I'm like, I think I'm one of the only people streaming Starfield at this point. So, yeah, it kind of died out quickly. Unfortunately, because I do think there is some some pretty fun stuff in here. Oh, Red Six really enjoys the uh, yeah the main mission stuff with an artifact and everything. Yeah, you like those? Oh, Beyond Belief says it's called Entangled. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do the main missions. I might. I really don't like Constellation, and I don't like them taking credit for everything I do, even when they're not with me. And I really have no interest in any of the members of Constellation. I don't know. And I, I find a lot of the missions boring. Like the whole floating around, collecting sparkles and the temples thing and all that. I can't see myself doing that like 30 more times or whatever, however many times I have to do it. Ugh. I might. I don't know. I'm I'm more into role playing and that here that's the thing with me is I really like role playing in role playing games. So for me, I am a member of the Freestar Collective. That's my backstory, that's where I come from. I joined the Vanguard for reasons I won't go into right now, and then I've been running around most of the time with Ezekiel, who's also from the Freestar Collective. But he is uh I think the religion is called a universalist. It's the people in the game who believe that God is out there to be found in the universe and that's why we have space travel is because God wants to be found. That's not my religion in this universe. I'm the other one, not Varun, but whatever that third one is. I, I like that religion in this game. But, um, but Zeke is, you know, a universalist. So I think if he saw me, when, when we were fighting Terramorphs, I was using some of my my gravity power. And he actually had a comment where he said something like, what the hell? Or something like that. How is that possible? And, you know, he was reacting to my use of the powers. And I think if he knew I had these powers, he would want me to go get more of them. So that would be a good role-playing reason for me to go do the main quest line. But... I just find it so boring. <laughs> Julia's saying, I kind of like the powers and it was frustrating not 
be able to get one of the powers. Also, everything I stored in the apartment I was given got lost. Oh no! How did that happen? Was that a bug? You stored a bunch of stuff and then it just disappeared? That, that would be so frustrating. Yeah. Yeah, that would be really frustrating. I, the powers thing for me, have you played Skyrim? Because the thing is, is I've played so much Skyrim and then I started to play this and I found out about the main storyline and the powers and I was like, isn't that exactly like Dragon Shouts in Skyrim? Like it, I don't know. I, I think that's one of the reasons I kind of soured on the whole main storyline is I felt like it was not original. Like they've already done that and it was called Skyrim and it was Dragon Powers and they just sort of you know, dolled it up and changed it up a little bit to be for, for Starfield, but it's still the same basic idea. Only in Skyrim, you actually had reasons to use the powers. Like, there were certain quests you couldn't complete without using certain powers, and there was a whole lore and story reason for having the powers, not just, you know, you have powers because you have powers. Right? Um... But in this game, it kind of feels like I've never felt any compulsion to use the powers until I did the Vanguard quest line and was fighting the Terramorphs. And then the gravity thing was kind of helpful. It reminded me, though, of the, I think it was called the Gloop Gun in Outer Worlds. Because you can get this weapon, this special weapon, where you shoot at enemies and it'll make them float up in the air. So, you know, okay. I just, I don't know. I find them kind of kind of like strangely out of place in the game. I mean, I've played through the whole game and I haven't felt the need to have them and nobody else has talked about them. It's not like really, it doesn't feel like a part of the world. You know, it just feels like this separate storyline and I don't know, it's weird for me. But, uh, yeah, I wrote him saying, I hope they do not ruin Elder Scrolls Six. I know, my dude. I am really worried about that. I still this is very Star Trek. I don't know though. I don't know because Star Trek. Well, it depends. I, I'm I'm old school Star Trek, not like the original series though. I do like that, but like you know, Next Generation, Deep Space Nine kind of stuff, and you know, a lot of Star Trek was. It could get a little weird at times kind of metaphysical or whatever but basically it was very science oriented or at least purported to be right tried to be very um you know there's scientific reasons for everything that happens and um same with babylon 5 and stuff you know there wasn't a lot of like magic i just i don't know i feel like this game's got i mean all this stuff with the powers is like it's all magic and they don't really talk about it being like, oh, it's from an alien civilization or, oh, it's, you know, alien technology or whatever. No, it's just, you're a star born. Ooh, you're the chosen one. It's magic. I, I just, I don't want it in my sci-fi game. I just don't want it. And I don't want it in another Bethesda game because it already happened in Skyrim. So, uh, I don't know. That's just me. <laughs> but I don't want to detract from anyone who's enjoying it. I'm happy I'm happy that other people are enjoying this game. I just wish more people were enjoying it. Um, I know I've said this before, but, uh, you know, they released a bunch of statistics saying that 13 million people have played this game. But then if you look at the statistics, it says that the average length of playtime is only 40 hours. It's like 40 hours barely scratches the surface of this game. I mean, <laughs> I've played for probably at this point, I don't know, 200 hours or something, and there's tons of perks and abilities and things I haven't unlocked or even touched yet. So, like, people are really not getting into this game. Like, if, if the average playtime is 40 hours, then you could say, like, half of those, you know, 13 million people, 6.5 million people are playing it 40 hours or less? Like, that's not a lot of people getting into the game, and that's unfortunate, because I do think there's some, like, really fun stuff in here, but unfortunately there's also a lot of not fun stuff, like just really lame side quests and really bad bugs and stuff, so, yeah. 
uh, for them making such a big stinky deal about hyping up how it's their first new property in 20 years or 25 years or whatever, I expected better from them. But oh well. Yeah, <laughs> Ronan says, I'm not saying Fallout is bad. It is my favorite world. Yeah. I'd like to see a Star Trek and Star Wars game like this and Fallout, but good and with less bugs, right? <laughs> right? I know. I think that's what we all wanted from Bethesda when they announced Starfield, right? Oh, wow. Beyond Belief saying GTA 5 is the most watched game on Twitch. Yeah, that thing's got some staying power, man. GTA 5. Good lord. Beyond Belief says, so you did the whole game, but not the main story. Yes. I mean, I... I've done part of the main story. I mean, I've done some of it. I've gone up to where now I'm going around collecting powers. Like, I've collected a couple of powers. And I've done all the, like, little preliminary quests and stuff. Like, you meet Constellation. I did Barrett's side quest. I did Andresia's side quest. You know, their little personal quests. Um, you know, I've, I've visited a few temples. I've talked to Vladimir. You know, that kind of stuff. But yeah, that's that's about where I stopped and I went off to do other things because I was getting bored. Like I said, I, I don't really, I don't like Constellation. Oh, Julia is saying, this is my first space game. But you're right about the powers. They're just there just because. Yeah, man, I, I really wish there was more... It's like different people were working on different parts of this game, but nobody was making sure that all of those parts made sense to, within each other. You know? I mean, sometimes it's really cool, because like sometimes I will go and be doing a quest, and there will be uh, a dialogue option that refers to something else I did in a different quest, or something in my background, or some other choice that I made in the game, and I'm like, oh, that's cool. Right? Because then that, that's what makes you feel like you're in a world role-playing and, you know, playing a, a, or an RP to space RPG, you know. But then there's other times where I will go do a quest and they seem to be completely... They'll say, we know everything about your background. Have you ever done any law enforcement before? And I'm like, if you know everything about my background, you know I'm already a free star ranger <laughs> so yes I've done law enforcement like what are you talking about so like you know I mean it's a very complicated game and I know they can't account for absolutely everything but sometimes it's uh it's a little weird but yeah the powers seem like a completely separate thing from the rest of the game my husband and I were talking about that we were saying that you know, Constellation feels like it should have been a side quest and not the main mission. Like the main thing that draws you into the game. Because when you first start, you meet Barrett and you touch an artifact and blah, blah, blah. And then you kind of are assumed that you're going to romance. You know, you, you can only romance one of the four main Constellation people. You can't romance anyone else. Even though in Skyrim, you could romance tons of different people. And you, you know you're expected to go back and talk to Constellation every time you finish a quest line. Like, I finished Ryujin on my own, by myself, but then suddenly I got these pop-ups that are like, go talk to Constellation, and they knew all the details of everything I had done with Ryujin, even though it was a stealth mission where, you know, I was doing corporate espionage, and there's no way that Constellation should have known anything about it, but they knew all the details, and they are talking to me about it, and I'm like, What's it to you guys? Like, fuck off. Like, I don't, I don't care what you think about what I did in Ryujin. Why do I care? But, like, they, Bethesda made this game with the assumption that, like, oh, Constellation is your main faction and you're going to romance people in it and you're going to care about what's going on in it. It's like, no, I don't. I don't like them. And I think it would have been better off if it was, like, a side quest kind of thing, like Ryujin. Like, how Ryujin is just a, a, quest line you can do or not do and it gives you different powers and benefits and outfits and whatever but it's not the main story of the game and it's not assumed that you're going to go back and talk to the people at Ryujin every time you do a quest in the game or something um, 
you know, Constellation would have been cool if it was like, you know, you find this group of ragtag scientists out on a planet trying to find artifacts or alien technology or something. And you, you know, you could choose to then go around and find all these different little pieces of alien whatever and piece together like a story about the alien civilization that lived here before or something you know cool and okay maybe you get some technology that lets you do some interesting things like have more oxygen or anti-gravity or whatever but the whole like the way they've made it metaphysical and, and Constellation talks about this stuff like it's some kind of cult or something. I don't know. It just creeps me out. I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> but I've said all that before. I've said it in other live streams. Um, and, and all of my previous live streams are on my YouTube channel, by the way. It's uh, the same as my Twitch channel. It's Jewel Smith. But, uh, yeah... Beyond Belief says they make perfect sense if you play the main story. Yeah, but that's... it. Mm, okay. I don't know. I've asked my husband about that, and he says no. They don't really make sense. He's played through and gone to New Game Plus, and he doesn't like the main story either, and he doesn't think it's very well explained or really belongs in the game. But, you know, okay... Uh, I guess it takes a certain amount of buy-in. Like, if you buy in and you go, yeah, Constellation's great, I like these people, and, you know, I care, then, yeah, it's going to seem like a really fun story. But if you're like, these people are weird, and I don't like them, and I don't get it, and you just go off and play the rest of the game, there's no point for those powers to be there. You know, like in Skyrim, the point of having dragon shouts is because... At one point in the lore of the world of Skyrim, uh, human beings were slaves to dragons and slaves to the dragon priests. And one of the gods, I think it was R.K., gave Nords, humans, the power of the dragons. The dragon shouts were all the powers that dragons had, like to be able to breathe fire or breathe ice or, you know, do these things. So that it would put them on level footing with the dragons who were subjugating them and they could fight back against the dragons. And then in the game itself, when you're playing, you have the dragon shouts because dragons have returned to Skyrim and so someone needs to be able to fight back against them. And so you are the dragonborn to, to fight back against the dragons. Now, obviously, lots of people play Skyrim who ignore the main storyline or who never use shouts or who aren't Nords and don't care or whatever it is and that's fine too because that's an option because the game is robust enough to allow that um, but I'm just saying you know the world itself has its lore reasons for these powers to exist and then when you go around the world people know about the powers like like Orfric, Ulfric Stormcloak you know he used the powers to try to usurp the throne and kill the former High King and you know, the Greybeards are studying the powers and, you know, there's all this stuff going on and and there's reasons to use them. Like there's quests that require you to use them in the world. And now, uh, okay, so maybe in Starfield, if I do the main quest, then I would need to use certain powers to accomplish certain things. But it just seems like nobody else in the world knows anything about this stuff and it has no real reason to exist in the context of Starfield, like in the game itself, in, in the whole game world, these powers have no reason to exist. Now, when the Terramorphs showed up and I was getting my ass kicked and I used one of my powers to fight the Terramorphs, that made sense to me. Then I was like, okay, now I have a reason to use these powers. That's cool. If I've got to fight a bunch of Terramorphs, Maybe I need to go power up and get some more of these powers and use them on the Terramorphs. That would give me a good reason to have them. And then the quest was over and I'm done and there's no more real reason to need to have the powers because I'm done with the Terramorph quest line already. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. Um, and when I use my powers, nobody seems to notice or care. Like, Zeke had a reaction. 
where he was like, what the hell? Uh, how did you do that? Or something like that. He actually reacted. In, in one of my combats uh, against the Terramorphs, he reacted to my using the powers, which I thought was really cool. But, like, nobody else seemed to react to them. Nobody else seems to care. I don't know. It's just really weird. I just feel like they could have somehow made that main quest line and the powers and the artifacts and all that stuff matter more in the context of the game without necessarily saying, well, you got to do the whole main quest line and then you'll understand. Like, well, okay, but clearly I can ex ignore the main quest line and it doesn't matter. Because I've played the whole rest of the game and it doesn't matter. So that's all I'm saying is it should matter. It should matter more. If that's the main storyline and we're supposed to care about Constellation and everything, it should matter? But it doesn't. <laughs> Anyway, let's go clear some spacers out of this research facility. Enough of my yakking. Oh, look at that little drawing. Okay, I don't even remember. Oh, hey! Okay, I guess we're going this way. Go in the direction of your enemies. Excuse me. These dang allergies. Making my eyes itch, my nose running, making me cough. John Belief says when you're being attacked by Starborn, it's nice to have Starborn powers. Sure, I can see that. Yeah. I mean, if they've got powers and you've got powers, you know, yeah. I just wish that somehow they had incorporated the idea of the Starborn into the game more than they have, like into the rest of the game. I don't know. Like I said, that's just me. I feel like the main storyline... I mean, obviously, I've been able to completely ignore it. And it hasn't made any difference in the rest of the game. But, yeah, you know, that's fine. I mean, it's pretty cool that there are lots of different quest lines and different things to do. I mean, I managed to ignore the Vanguard... <laughs> Everybody kept telling me, go to the Vanguard stuff, go to the Vanguard stuff. I was like, no, no, I'll do other things. You could just fly around and scan planets and not do any of it, I guess, if you wanted to. You could be a raider or a spacer, join the Crimson Fleet. Yeah, there's a lot of options in this game. But what I don't get about the New Game Plus thing that's weird to me is I don't want to start over again. Like, if I, in, I was saying this the other day, in real life, if somebody just showed up in my real life and said to me, hey, we have a magical portal and you can go through the portal and you can start your life over again, I wouldn't do it. Uh, I wouldn't want to leave my current family on the off chance that I would happen to, you know, marry the same person again the next time and have the same children like I wouldn't want to leave and I was thinking about that with this game like I don't really see the point of going all the way to the end of the main quest line because I wouldn't want to leave Zeke and my friends that I like in this game I mean maybe that's silly but you know like I said I like to role play and in my role playing you know I'm a member of the Freestar Collective who's a ranger and who's you know, in a relationship with Zeke and, you know, who has friends and crew and people that I care about. So if they were to say, hey, you can go through this portal and just start all over again, I wouldn't do that. That to me would be 
just not that it would be horrific I wouldn't do it so I don't know again maybe that's just me but I don't see the new game plus as being a big interesting benefit to like completing the story I, I don't know I, I can't wrap my brain around it Oh, look at that little Wilby. Okay, you don't have to leave at the end of the main quest. It's a choice. Huh, okay. Well, in that case. I mean, I kind of like the idea of there being like lots of alternate realities where if you keep going through the portal, you see lots of different things every time. I think that would be really cool. But from what I understand, the only thing that really changes on each playthrough is Constellation itself. Like nothing else in the world actually changes. And since I don't care about Constellation, right? <laughs> that has no appeal to me. Uh, just a ton of toilet paper tubes here for some reason. Okay. Oh, this isn't actually a terminal we can get into. Okay. Yeah, I think, I mean, if I found Constellation to be more compelling and the, uh, the whole temples and sparkle farts, as my husband calls them. The little sparkles you have to collect and all that. If I found that more interesting, I'd definitely do it. But I just really do not find it at all compelling, and I really do not like Constellation. Unfortunately. Oh, they tried to barricade shit up here, huh? Interesting. What's that gun worth? All right, I'll take it. Okay, I can help out. Hey, you take that. Bye now. Another robotics part. It's probably not worth anything. I mean, it's worth a few credits, but I don't know why. I just I haven't seen too many of those in the game, so they're kind of interesting to me. Maybe I should do a save. I haven't done a save in a while. That's true, Beyond Belief saying, if you do outpost building, that could keep you busy for months. That is very true. 
Yeah, that's what kept me busy in Fallout 4 was doing all the settlement building. Do I still have grenades? Oh, I guess I can see that. I, actually, I can't because it's blocked by the little you are streaming box on Xbox. It looks like I still have grenades. Yeah, I have five. Okay. I have to look on my laptop. Dude, are you that scared of me? What the heck? Uh, I will stand by. Door locked requires key. Okay. Come at me. Good job, babe. Oh, that's probably a window. No? I got him. I thought I was shooting through glass. Oh, look at this guy. Just staring right at us. Inaccessible door. Okay. Let's see what's in here. A whole bunch of dead researchers. Oh, I need the fiber. I'll take the fiber. Nutrient. You. Credits. Okay. I will eat that meal tray. Ooh, lunch. Can I ring the bell? Ding. I'd like to see how far I can get just eating what I find in these places. Instead of using <laughs> med packs. Oh, a little cred stick hiding under there.
Beyond Belief says, if I had a choice to be reborn, I would in a heartbeat. Well, I would not. <laughs> I have people I love too much. I would not want to leave them behind. And there's no guarantee that in the next iteration that I would meet the same person at the same time and they'd fall in love with me the same way and I'd have the same kids. So, yeah, no, I would not. Absolutely would not. New Game Plus, New Game Plus can do in less than six hours. Wow. Well, I've heard that, like, the next time that you go through, you don't have to actually collect all the artifacts again, right? Don't they just give them to you or something? Okay. So, sent you a link to a lady that blows me away with outpost building. Cool. <laughs> outpost building at its finest. Yeah, I did a lot of settlement building videos in Fallout 4. <laughs> I had a whole settlement tour series. That's actually how I kind of started my channel. I started it with Fallout 4 settlement tours and playing through Skyrim Special Edition when it came out several years ago. Dandy boy apples. <laughs> oh, there's some lunch in there too. There we go. Get it out of there. I'm pressing and holding the A button to move these. And then you can get the food out of them. Big stack of dish towels. Save all those to make dinner later. <laughs> Back on the ship. big mess. Alright, so where to next? Oh, this way. 
Oh, this person's just been so patiently waiting while I go in there and eat their lunch. How nice of them. Oh, this is nice. This is a nice bar. Look at this wreck area. Oh, dang. They have a ping pong table. I don't know if I've ever seen this in the game before. I've seen ping pong balls. I don't know if I've ever seen a ping pong table in the game. I've seen a billiard table. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, there's the ping pong ball right there. Oh, and there's another meal kit. Oh, wow. Lots of stuff behind the counter here. Cabernet chunking yawn. <laughs> hey, Zeke. Eh, that ain't worth much. Oh, jeez. Man, we really missed the action, didn't we? This is terrible. Tri-Tech lab outfit. What the heck is the Tri-Tech? It looks just like every other lab outfit I've seen. What's Tri-Tech? Oh, here we go. What's this? No more target practice. The LT shut down the firing range, says the noise disturbed the scientists on their power walking breaks. Goofiest thing I ever saw, the scientists pumping their arms and walking circles around the building. Their faces all intense, like they're in a battle. Doesn't Torres know that target practice serves a purpose? It keeps our edge. I'm not sure what the hell their walking does. Yeah, well, unfortunately... I guess because they didn't get to practice, target practice, they weren't good at fighting off spacers. Boom Pop Dynamite. Have I seen that one before? Several flavors of Boom Pop combined into one powerful mixture. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. I don't know if I've seen that in the game before. Let's look at it. Oh, I didn't mean to eat it. Dang it. Well, there's the dynamite. I, I drank the boba tea. Huh. All right, well. spacers man all right so how do we get in here oh we open the door this is it well you think she's a spacer she's the one that cleared him out hey there corporal is armor you see marines medic we thought we were done for i'm i'm oh, uh... And meet the esteemed doctor. Musa, right? It's his party we're crashing. Private Mahoney sent me. It doesn't much look like an infirmary. Are the wounded okay? I'll say Private Mahoney sent Mahoney's me. Mahoney's a machine. She's wasted on this rock. And this... Uh, what the heck are you guys doing here anyway? Doctor. Doctor. Yes. I mean, yes. Astrobiology. We study non-Terran life forms in the settled systems. We, uh, 
seek to understand the various flora and fauna and search for practical uses. I don't think the spacers care about your research, no offense. What sort of uses are we talking about? Yeah, I'll say that. Industrial, or just understanding how life propagates. We work purely on non-military applications. It's part of our charter. Okay. I don't think the spacers cared about your research. No. They've they've been trying to take over the whole system <gasps> for months. Do I get to go have a Listen, space battle? We can't waste time. The Free Star CEO, Lieutenant Torres, he locked down the complex. I'm not sure how long he can keep his troops safe. Last I saw Torres was on the third floor, near my office. Take this key and get to Torres. It should okay. open everything except the security doors. Get to Torres before his men are wiped out. Good luck. Dang, what a cutie. Okay. What's going on in here? Oh, a bunch of wounded. Wounded soldier. Wow, okay. Oh, it won't open the security doors, though. Got it. Okay. You guys don't need that trauma pack. <laughs> I've only got a million of them. I'll take it. The spacers realize we're trying to help them. Help everyone. All right, so now we have the key card that's going to get us in these doors. Got it. <laughs> I don't think I've heard him say that before. He's getting bold. Everyone move up. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Hang on, time out. I got allergies. Give me some cover. You gonna choose through the window? Good luck with that. Grenade. You're mine. Take what exactly? Is that the best you've got? <laughs> Alright, you hold him off, Zeke. I'm gonna go look around in here. I'm waiting to find some kind of terminal or slate or something or some kind of evidence that this is not actually such an innocent facility after all. I don't trust it. Oh, this will be quick.
He's keeping them pinned down for me. You. He's right behind you, Zeke. Oh, this will be quick. Oh. Yeah, I thought I heard somebody behind us. Okay. Easy mark. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it because it's worth a few credits. I don't know. This place seems kind of creepy to me. Like they're doing autopsies and experiments on animals and stuff. I don't know. I don't trust it. Well, I guess they're testing plants or something in here. Okay. I still don't trust it. In the context of having just found the colander <laughs> earlier today, I don't trust any of this scientific research stuff. these secret research outposts where the UC is like we're not still doing xenotech warfare no not us see anything special in here I'm not finding a key card or anything important no terminals oh cred stick Let's go in here and see what's what.
Oh, they have fiber too. Blurp, 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 blurp. And nothing on that terminal. Okay. Alright, I guess we got to go up. Zeke, you go right, I'll go left. Got one. hit the broad side of a bar and I'm shooting all around this fool and then Zeke's like just tap that one's not moving oh my god my dude that's funny I don't know right. why I have such a hard time aiming in this game and I've said this before but it's like I'm using the motion stick and the aiming stick but it's like it's so jerky I guess I could fiddle with my settings but I don't know. I don't want it to be too smooth or I'll get uh, seasick. <laughs> I don't know, but I haven't had that kind of problem in other games. I've played lots of other shooting games. I don't usually have such a hard time with shooting games. is that? That right there. It doesn't have anything saying what it is. Some kind of alien egg or something. I don't like it. Oh! They, they got a cage. Really? Aren't very bright, are you? this person uh Zeke pardon me my dude all right you go left I'll go right
how these spacers managed to overtake all these marines? I guess we can just say it's because they didn't have their target practice. All right, I think we've been in that room before. Yeah, all right. Here's the office of friendlies. And I can't unlock that door, all right. Um, I thought I had the key. Yeah, U309 facility key card. Oh, right. He said it wouldn't unlock the security doors. So, All right. Right. Okay. Oh, maybe I gotta come in from another direction. Yeah, I gotta go this way. All right. All right, gotta go this way. Like I said, someone's been taking out the spacers. I... It's me. I don't believe it. We've lost so many people. Are they all gone? Ooh, more Thanks rangers. The stranger, every last one of them is down. Some fancy work there. How many more are there with your unit? You got sniper support or something? Yeah, me. <laughs> Just me. Oh, uh, holy shit. I... <laughs> wow. We have to help Captain Myung. She's behind the barrier door. But she's not Freestar, Lieutenant. Our first priority is our men and our scientists. She this came in to free save star us, facility? Sergeant, when no one else would. I will not leave her out to dry. You guys fought a war recently. I'm surprised you want to help the Marine. I'm not surprised. I look forward to meeting them. The UC came here to help? We were hours from being overrun, and then Myung and her marines landed. And they saved us. Well, we a few of you. So we just welcomed them. Together, we've managed to hold the outpost. Why Excellent. the captain came to our aid? Oh, you'd have to ask her. Maybe she's just a decent person. I look forward to meeting she's this Captain Myung. Something else. But, Lieutenant, Ooh. they're the UC. We can't... Sergeant, Aunt what? I am ordering you to help us save those Marines. Treat them like human beings? But how? We got a security override key. If the Marines are still alive, they'll be by the other entrance. We all work together. We should be able to save them. Or die trying. They are soldiers that need us. Are you... Um, up for it? We could really use your help. Heck yeah. I'm happy to help. And let's do this. Here's the security key. You take point. The captain's down one floor. Okay. But can I look around and loot this place first? Copy of Dracula. Dover Beach. Okay. Anything good over there, Zeke? Oh, you're right. There's something here. What's this? Trauma pack. Okay. X09 report. The microbial sample of X09 is truly extraordinary. We're not sure if this is the key to the impressive regenerative capabilities of X09. We plan to do some gene editing on the EF3 fern and then run it through a battery of tests. The whole thing is a long shot, but imagine if humans could regrow limbs in months, even days. Dizzying possibilities. Oh, that's cool. All right, so they are working on some kind of medical breakthrough stuff here. Oh, I've got a whole army now.
Can I talk to them? We need to get to Captain Myung. How'd this whole mess start? Spacers have been the problem in the system since I was stationed here. For a long time, they just go after targets of opportunity. We bloodied their nerves a time or two, but every week there was just more of them. Until, I guess, they decided they could deal with us once and for all. Do you have a problem with the Marines here? When the Marines first landed, I thought that maybe they had a secret alliance with the Spacers. But quickly, it became clear that they were here to help. Against all reason. I don't know if I'd have the courage or... humanity of Captain Myung if the tables were turned. I'd like to think I would. Well, lucky okay. for you and Myung. Don't think I don't realize that. Thank you. Okay. <gasps> Holy crud. That's a lot of cred sticks. And I'm taking them. Fancy wine. All right. What's my inventory looking like? Oh, not too bad. Are we ready for this? I think so. We've been doing all right so far. Oh, right. Now we have the uh, security key. So we can get in down here. Oh, dang it. I didn't mean to take that. <laughs> Man, I'm having a hard time with my A button sticking. I keep doing things I don't mean to do. I got some of these. There we go. Yum, yum, yum. down private what matters is they're here now and who the hell do we have here another scientist well I'll be <laughs> I'm just walking around picking shit up and they're busy talking yeah you see when we walked in they were just standing there, and all the spacers were just standing there. They were all just waiting for us to walk in. <laughs> all right. Huh. Captain? You don't got the look of a Marine. Certainly not the militia. Who are you? What do you mean, not the militia? Which militia? I'm with Constellation. Oh, uh, no. 
United Colonies Vanguard. Restart Ranger, I'm with the Rangers. I'm just a captain that picked up a distress call. Spacers are plague on the settled systems. I will say I'm a Freestar Ranger. Glad you guys decided to finally help out your own. Captain I didn't Young, know they were stuck Marines. here. Veteran of the Colony Wars, the shield of Parduke Pass. Best damn Marine in the service. Oh, I've been to Parduke Pass. <laughs> and that loudmouth is Private Psy. If she wasn't such a hell of a soldier, she'd be polishing latrines for the next decade. You've saved lives here, and that is something I won't forget. Captain and all her marines. Oh, we'd all be dead if it weren't for them. You lot well, may be free. It looks like most of you are dead as it first. is. I wasn't about to let you all die ignobly to those rabid spacer bastards. Uh I don't I can't believe UC Command is alright with this. What happened at Parduk Pass? That's why you're helping them? The guys were at war not too long ago. What happened at Parduk Pass? War happened. Paduk Pass is a graveyard now. Yeah, Lots I've been of there. good soldiers, both sides, are buried there. Captain Myung held that pass for a week against the best mechs the Free Star could throw at us. When she pulled out, she blew up the whole damn pass. Took out a full mech battalion. Might have saved the entire nearer front. Don't believe the propaganda, Private. Paduk Pass was dirty business all around. Uh, is that why you're helping them? You guys were at war not too long ago. Look around. Nobody here is my enemy. Torres and his right. men, they're just poor SOBs posted in the arse end of nowhere. Just like my Marines. We have more in common with each other than the damn politicians back home. Yep. Alright, well that's damn fine to You've me. You've got spirit. That's what we need right now. We've bought ourselves an old-fashioned stay of execution here. But it won't last long. <gasps> we're going to have a space fight? We're going to have a space fight? Undisciplined rabble. That they got spaceships and we don't. That I means got a they whole can fleet. keep dropping reinforcements until they greatly outnumber us. Then the cowards will hit us. Hard. Uh, I've got a ship. <laughs> Which means they won't drop the reinforcements right on top of us anymore. But there's too many of them, and only one of you. No, we need a plan. I have a more yeah, immediate problem. But Captain. one of me counts for a lot. I have troops and civilians in the field. If we don't act, the spaces could take them out. I can't abandon them. Damn it. What sort of leader would you be if you did? But we need every trained soldier to fortify and get the defenses back online. Mahoney said their last transmission indicated they were in trouble. If you could perhaps take your ship to the research camp and clear out any spaces. Sure. Uh, yeah. It went dark not too long ago, so hopefully they are still survivors. Just go quickly and safely. Okay. How quickly, though? Can I walk around here and, like, loot some more stuff? Do I have a second to loot things? Ooh, we got a fruit bowl here. That's a nice bowl. I like that bowl. Take that back to my house. Bolognese for dinner, Zeke. Ooh, this is worth 22,000 credits. I'll take it.
All right, I guess I'm getting on with getting on. Is this going to take us back outside? Probably. Not the back door that we couldn't get in before. Yes, it did. All right, let's go hop in the ship. It's pretty here. Look at that. Those are like almost earth looking trees. Very pretty. Oh, there's something nasty out there. That's an interesting blue rock up there. Oh, we might have to come back here and look around. It's kind of cool. All right. Let's get up and unload all of our junk. I brought back dinner. I got carry out from the research facility. Alright, so what do we need to do next? Take your ship to the research camp on Altair 2. Aren't we on Altair 2? We are. Okay, so the research camp is just a little ways away. Look around before we hop out. There's more of those pretty blue rocks and blue crystal creatures. They're pretty cool. More lovely trees. Ooh, that's a nice hill. I like that hill. And I'm assuming that's the research facility. Hey there, Captain. It's been a while since I saw that ugly map. <laughs> Amelia. How you doing? This is my room. Do I need to take a nap? 
No, I seem to be doing all right. Oh. Hey, Adrian. Do you need my help? Hey, Rosie. No, I think I'm doing all right. You ready to head back out, Zeke? Another save. Yeah, this pistol is doing all right for me. I gotta admit, this corrosive assassin's refined side star definitely packs a punch. And something about the armor-piercing rounds combined with the corrosive effect seems to work really well against spacers. And it's got that big magazine, so I don't have to worry about reloading very often. It's very nice. I mean, I like the rubnet, but I'm getting... Well, I guess I'm not getting low. I mean, I've got almost 900, but... Ooh, I could use this vampire's gift. That's one I just got recently. It's got a pretty big magazine, and I've got tons of rounds for it. And it's got a high fire rate. All right, and a pretty decent range too. Let's let's try this one. Oh, I guess that's not the facility where we're going. Biome complete. We gotta go this way. Alright, well let's head up this hill. And see what we're dealing with before we go rushing in. Egg sack filterer. Temperament. Peaceful. Oh, that's not got a peaceful temperament. This is so pretty. Eliminate the spacers at the research camp. Okay.
I'm right here. You're not gonna shoot at me? Jeez, I'm shooting fish in a barrel. Too cold, Zeke. Jeez, dude. Hand loading razor back. Wow, that's a pretty valuable weapon. What are blue collar off work duds? Oh, that's nice. Is that. I mean, it's a spacer wearing it. Is that a UC outfit? No, it just says blue collar. I like that. I will take it. You can keep the rest of that garbage, though. Gonna be researchers, or do we gonna have to shoot these fools? Oh, okay, these are researchers. Tell Taurus, thank you. There were thank too you. damn many of them. You saved us. Corporal Mahoney radioed you coming, but I didn't know if we could hold out. Not all of us made it. But you're a regular hero. Yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> you should thank your lieutenant. He made sure you weren't left to die. I'll say Torres that. Torres did that. He's so damn green. But all right. Mahoney said for us to go to ground. There's a cave nearby we're going to hole up in until this is all over. Don't worry. I'll keep the civvies safe from here. You're just a botanist. Why? The civvies? Why would the spacers... There's not a lot of civvies here. Just the one. This situation is getting out of control. Spacers are terrible. Terrible. Why have they got posters under their bed? Oh, with a staple gun? Like they were going to put them up, but they just hadn't gotten around to it yet? And some tape? That's cute.
All right. So now what? What do we gotta do next? Talk to Lieutenant Torres. Where is that? Oh, back at the research outpost. Okay. This is cool. This is a cool little side mission kind of thing. I mean, I just kind of randomly ran into it. This is a great place to pick up organic materials. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Is that his pickup line? <laughs> Have you got any organic materials? Would you like some? Yeah, I got a bowl. So you are alive. I was just starting to wonder. Yeah, I am. They're not supposed to be on my ship. Amelia and well, Danny so were booted eyes. off. Um... In my own head canon, I gave Amelia a ship and they went off together to have adventures. But you can't actually give them a ship. <laughs> I've got so many ships I'm not using. You know, I, I should be able to give one to my friends and say, go have fun. But I guess I haven't landed in a port city where they can disembark yet. So they're still on my ship. Even though they're technically not on my crew. Mahoney said the research camp is all clear. I... I don't know where we'd be without you. Space Most battle, space battle. in some unmarked grave. Good on you both for making that mission of mercy a priority. Our job is to protect the civvies and never leave a soldier behind. Uh, the war is not won yet. Tell me the plan. Yeah. Straight to business. Space fight. Space fight. Good. The spacers haven't attacked yet, but they've been shuttling men down beyond the ridge. We cannot let them keep reinforcing, otherwise they'll overwhelm us. So we need to take out their ships. Yeah. Yeah. You people are really keeping me busy. <laughs> the only rest a marine gets is in the grave. I concur with the captain. We can't hold out if we don't cut off the manpower. The spacers have two fighter groups. If you take those out, the enemies will be stranded. Okay. So launch that fancy ship of yours and get to work. Ooh, how do you know it's fancy? Defeat the spacers in Altair 5's orbit. Defeat the spacers in Altair 1's orbit. Oh, right. Space fight. Space fight. Let's go. Come on, Zeke. We got some space fighting to do. I've been waiting for this the whole time. Ah, <gasps> 
There they are! Alright, hold down the right bumper button and you can see all the names. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I think it was Beyond Belief that told me that. Thank you. Alright, we gotta go have a, a space fight. Let's do it. We got ourselves a mark. All right, well, that was easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, now where to? Altar five, it looks like. Yes. Let's go shoot up some spacers. Put the fear of God into them. Back pronto, huh? I'll be there pronto right after I loot this spacer ship. This just goes on and on. It ain't over yet. But I like it. This is very similar to that quest I talked about earlier where I was helping out the farmers. Spot for a landing, Captain. All right. 
Don't start patting yourself on the back yet, Zeke. One. They just fly in a bunch more reinforcements. Here they come. You ready, my
my dude. Scientists here are good people. Every one of them that died is a loss for all of us. So many people. Yeah, that's, that's the, the price of command, Torres. Every decision leads to blood. You can drive yourself crazy with counterfactuals. Focus on the good you did. We did here. Sometimes you can't forget what was lost. Everyone here is alive because of cooperation. If you do the best you can do every day and with every decision, you don't have to regret a thing. Yeah, that's true. Well said. All tests safe because of you. Both of you. I almost want to write back to the Freestyle and ask them to give you a medal. Now, wouldn't that be the damnedest thing? I could put it on right next to my meritorious star. You'd save me a court-martial if you just give me your thanks. 
Might be you want your medal, though. I'll take credits over a fancy bit of tin. Some recognition would be nice. It doesn't matter much to me. It doesn't matter much I to me. I know exactly how you feel. I'm... I'm not sure if I would have done all this if the roles were reversed, Myo. But I will never forget you. Ooh. You're young and you've got a future ahead of you. I ship it. A bit of advice. I've been passed up for promotion more times than I can count because I've always stuck by my principles. There's a million ways the bastards in command will ask you to compromise. Little ways, big ways. Don't. It may hurt your career, but I look back with pride at my service. Especially today. This is a really cool quest. I like this. No one except us really understands what victory costs. Uh, I didn't pay you for a flaw. I'll say I'd listen to that you advice. See? I sincerely hope I never see you across the lines on the battlefield, Captain. If you do, Lieutenant, I will do my duty. Not if I do my duty first. <laughs> Soldiers, it's time to get out of the Free Star's hair. Dang. Oh, they gave me Peacekeeper. I thought I already had a Peacekeeper. And a lot of credits. Okay. Can I talk to His them now? Spaces. Yes, yes. Uh, goodbye. It was my honor to fight alongside you. What are you doing in Altair? We operate a refueling depot. The Brassback home got tired of spaces hitting the damn place, so they sent us. As soon as we showed up, the spaces went for easier targets. <laughs> it's been one hell of a boring assignment until now. Why did you really come to help out the Free Star? I will not lie. I wrestled with it. We listened to the distress calls for hours, and it gnawed on me. At a certain point, I just couldn't sit on the sidelines and let them die. I couldn't just sit on the sidelines either. You being here proves that. Since I've been here, I know what I did was right. Lieutenant Torres may be green, but he's a good man. His troops are brave, worthy of their uniform. Together, we have a fighting chance. If I get court-martialed over this whole boondoggle, at least I can look myself in the mirror at night. Okay, what do you think of Lieutenant Torres? Torres is green, no two ways about it. Yeah, that's what everyone but keeps saying. But there's more to command than experience. There's heart. My guess is Torres has a bright future ahead of him. Jeez, there's a lot of dialogue here just about this random side character. <laughs> Torres's good heart isn't enough to save us. I think the lieutenant is weak. Are you sure you're a UC officer? Propaganda I'll say that. paints us all as villains and heroes. The truth's messier. We're all of us just human beings. Wow, she's With really families, cool. Ideals and empathy. I've seen too many of us poor bastards pay the price for some damned fool order from command. I've had enough. Wow. Taurus's good heart isn't enough to save us. True enough. To get out of this, the price will be paid in blood. I think it already was paid. Okay, Let's bye. Get this done. I think we are done. Aren't we done? Do we have any more to do here? Oh, I got to survey a habitable planet. I also have Apex Predator. Right, I got to remember I got to do that. Alright, but for now, I think I am going to say I am done for today. And I'm going to... Going to head out. Go make dinner. <laughs> Alright, everyone. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Keep me company on this adventure through Starfield. It's been a lively chat room today. That's really cool. Nice to see some first time chatters and new faces. And also nice to see some of the usuals. <laughs> hey, Ronan, you're still there. Ronan says, see you later. Yes, thank you for stopping in. It was fun to meet Red Six. And we met Julia. And Beyond Belief stopped in. I Stella was here. <laughs> all right yeah this was fun i really enjoyed this quest i mean i just kind of stumbled upon it on accident but it was a lot of fun it was really cool 
we'll see what kind of shenanigans we get up to next time. Uh, check me out. I'm live on twitch.tv slash jewelsmith while playing Starfield. And I'm over on YouTube where I do sometimes stream, but I also upload videos. That's also jewelsmith. And uh, take care of yourselves until next time. Bye.